Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tales of Agile. Tome, if you will. This is the Embers of Rage expansion. We are the Orc Butcher of Doom. We're the Steam Butcher or the Saw Butcher or, some, we're, or somebody that does saw blade burning, murder, death, killing stuff. It's, it's great. It's good. It's fun. We've had a lot of very near-death experiences and one actual death experience. However, we had an item that let us not end our run at that point, so... We're still alive, and this is by far the best I've ever done, I think. I don't know if I've ever made it to 17 before. I've definitely unlocked a few extra classes in this particular run, and I'm just having a blast, guys. I absolutely love this game. Oh, would you look at that? We got some cool-looking stuff right there. Eh. It's going to be great, guys. Uh, well, chances are most of these things we won't use, but it still looks pretty cool. And we're getting a lot of gold. Like, normally you don't get that much gold. Holy crap. Let's look at our transmogrification chest. We already know. We already know. A steel dagger. It's going to be worth a decent amount. I assume when we transmogrify stuff, it is the best way to get money for it. If not, you guys can tell me in the comments down below. I'm still learning quite a bit of stuff. I don't know if we use this. I'm going to put it into our normal inventory. There was a steel, or sorry, a, a saw blade there that we were going to use as well. Pretty sure all this other stuff is worse. Yeah. We have like some of the best equipment that we can possibly have right now. It's actually a little bit ridiculous how good it is. Oh, we can cleanse stuff off of ourselves, but it uses uh, 12 power. And I don't know how to recharge that. Again, I am still a massive noob when it comes to this game, so be aware that... Ah, here's what I wanted to check out. Our amulet. So minus 4 fatigue versus the plus 16 fatigue that we have. It's got uh, plus 4 dexterity, plus 1 magic, plus 4 cunning, and plus 4 constitution, which is really good. Our maximum encumbrance is plus 0, which is minus 20. Life regen. Is there any reason not to use that? The feather steel... Oh, minus fatigue, uh, movement speed's increased, maximum recoveries. Oh, so everything else is good, but we're actually losing out on those. Okay. And then what else does this do for us? Uh, avoid pressure traps? Uh, we'll keep that for now. I, I'm i sure it's better, but I kind of like this thing too. I don't know, folks. You'll have to tell me what's best. Alright, let's take a quick look here. This saw seems to be the best one. 15.5 to 23, but this has of daylight. Um, we gain armor and defense. Armor and defense. Actually, we're using terrible weapons. Or terrible items. 10.5? Yeah, this is definitely not as good. So armor is 6 and defense of 2. And what we were, we were looking at this one. Armor of 7, defense of 4. Pretty sure that this one is better than that one. And what is this one? This one is 13.5. I'm going to keep this one for now. Because it looks like it's got some extra cool stuff. But I think... This one might have been better. Eh, it's fine. We're still rocking pretty solid. I'm not complaining. I'm not worried. Let's just do some straight murder here. Wow, that guy's actually pretty tough. Not sure why he was so tough. Alright, let's rest so I don't accidentally get myself killed by being overconfident. I do that quite frequently. You guys know this. This is one of my biggest flaws when it comes to this game. I start doing amazing, I get overconfident, and I get killed. Alright, 66 gold and a uh, thing of sand. A mind star of sand of doom. Of whatever, it's fine. Alright, easy murder there. We'll grab that up, and the disciplinary report. 
Black Horn of the Brash, theft of personal quantities of at Atmos Absinthe. Uh, 20 lashes, interesting. Let's see, Swabi Grobo, I apologize folks, I'm still, I have some sort of allergenic problem as of late, my, my throat keeps catching, so occasionally I will pause. Uh, theft of personal quantities of uh, Shaloran wine, 12 lashes, first mate, grape shot, and proper use of a cannon, 20 lashes, demotion. Uh, Tarragos, killing crew of targeted supply ship in defiance of client's wishes, 3 lashes, no payment received regardless, all goods retrieved and delivered accordingly. Runty, theft of personal quantities of dwarven ale, 11 lashes. Ham fist, theft of commercial quantities of augric brandy, 50 lashes, dock pay. Dog Chucker, the Summoner. Disfiguring another crew member, punishment waived. Note, determined to be an accident. Tidal Torgor, accidental sinking of friendly vessel. 1,000 lashes over five days. Note, should be keel hauled, but we need all the aquamancers we can get. Lieutenant Grape Shot, improper use of a cannon. 30 lashes demotion. So, at first he was first mate, now he's a lieutenant. Lady Lago skimming profits from loot sales, 30 lashes, demotion to punitive duties. Shifty insubordinate, 10 lashes, swabby grog breath, insufficient swabbing, loss of liquor priv privileges, cannoneer grape shot, improper use of a cannon, 30 lashes, demotion. Pencil pusher Pilgo reassigning grape shot to cannoneer position, 35 lashes. Note, laugh it up, you insubordinate punk. Uh, smoky, excessive use of fire on board flammable ship, will not be allowed healing for wounds sustained when hat caught fire. Swabby grog breath, uh, violation of loss of liquor, liquor privileges, punishment waived. The foul swill he found is punishment enough. Sticks, attempted mutiny, keel hauled. Crab hide, supported, uh, support of attempted mutiny, keel hauled. Peg fist, po poga, uh, paga, sure. Failure to report, attempted mutiny, keel hauled, gunner, bilge bloat, fraternizing with attempted mutineers, keel hauled, first mate, Braca failure to keel haul enough, attempted murderers, <laughs> or mutineers, sorry, keel hauled, captain, a bloody keel, excessive keel hauling, keel hauled twice, uh, swabby grape shot, and proper use of a mop, 50 lashes, and a demotion. That's pretty funny. I enjoyed that, that was good. Alright, let's go and murder this guy as he attempts to do murder to us. Alright, and let the murder begin. And that is that. Alright, we got Water Salve. Ooh! We got the Blazebringer Steel Great Maul of the Leech. Man, why can't I not be this guy this time around? If I was almost any other weapon user, I'd be so much more in love with what I've been getting and what I'm gaining. Alright, a lot of money, a couple purple things, uh, back support schematic, pretty funny. Oh, and another super chest, 66 gold, a mighty steel steam gun of true shot, dang it. Infernal ash staff, another ash staff, man, so much good stuff. Oh, come on, a quick steel longsword, can't we get something good for me? Come on, people, this isn't fair. Aha! It's a troll that needs to be killed. Indeed. Alright, we'll come over here and we're gonna get this. You found the eclipse. This tall staff is tipped with a pitch black sphere that yet seems to give off a strong light. Okay, we got the eclipse. Sure. And Trollhide Cured Leather Armor of Acid Resist. <laughs> and another chest with the Quick Steel Torque or Tuke or Trark of Mind Blast. Hateful Pouch of Steel Shot. Blah, 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 blah. What's going on down here? Can't get in there, huh? I think we can. There was no point in getting in there, but we did it anyway. Alright. Well, I guess we go down to the next floor. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, we have a whole bunch of stuff this time around. Are there any buzz saws for me? No. Doesn't look like it. We don't need shields. What is this? 
Looks like a ranged thing. What is this? Is this our pickaxe? I'm gonna keep that because I don't know what to do with it. If I need it for something, so I'm gonna steal it. Let's see. We already know, we already know, we already know. Yeah, well, whatever, I guess. That's that. Alright, let's get rid of this. As you enter, you see the door locked behind you. It's a trap! Well, it's a trap, apparently. I'm going to scratch my arm, and then I'm going to open my inventory. Then I'm going to be like, what is this? Did I just remove my... Put that back there. What goes down here? It looks like a pickaxe of some sort. A mummified egg sack of what? It can be used to summon up to two spiders. Huh. Oh, that gives us some extra stuff. Why am I not using that? Because I'm a fool, I should have had that all along. Okay, well, we're in a trapped area, but I don't really think it's that bad of a trap, considering we're usually pretty strong compared to these guys. Uh, though I imagine they are going to be getting higher and higher in levels. So our uh, strength advantage is probably going to start dwindling a bit. Alright, massacred them. Gonna go quickly resting. Over here. Murder through you, murder through you. Gonna keep resting till the insidious poison is done. Alright, this guy, no joke. Let's deal with his compatriot first. And then let's deal with him. There it is. Increasing our damage. Oh, you guys are fun. Well, a little bit messy. Uh, how's our health standing? Pretty solid, it looks like. There are so many bad guys that want to kill me here. They're never gonna let me rest. Let me rest! Eh. Let me rest. No. Alright, well, I will come charge into you. We just picked up some fortifying steel mail armor. Oh my. I don't know what that one guy is, but he looks horrifying. Yeah, I think that's it. Admiral Corbeck. Alright, Admiral Corbeck, let's begin, shall we? Admiral Corbeck just got wrecked. And we just annihilated his entire army. We are superheroes, we massacred them all, we leveled up, we did tons and tons of amazing stuff. We found a ring of growth, this small wooden ring has a green, a single green stem, stem wrapped around it. Thin leaves seem to be growing from it. Cool. Uh, we found hornet stingers, uh, vile poison drips from the tip of these arrows, and overall analysis. Boss, if there's one thing I can say, is it is that you didn't make a mistake by pardoning me and my crew. The materials I've shipped home have surely been invaluable for our preparations, and the moment the top brass decides they want to start the invasion, I can start spiking the outgoing liquors in Cheer Blossom with time delay potions of your choice, crippling the allied kingdoms from within by starting a plague or turning every minor lawbreaker into a berserk madman. If nothing else, the you-know-what will be very useful when push comes to shove. As per your orders, we restricted most of our intervention to sabotaging the Allied Kingdoms, but I wonder if some amount of focus on the Oryx should be helpful. A band of them has recently emerged from the Clork Peninsula, victorious over Sun Paladins and Atmos alike. We've lost contact with Sunny Day and Vapor Trail. And... what? We've lost 
Okay, oh, and Vapor Trail has kept exports to a minimum for fear of detection. If we don't do something about this soon, they may become a bigger obstacle than the Allied Kingdoms. I await your reply and more dried meat. My crew loves the stuff, and these smugglers can, can't be arsed to bring us something so mundane. Or asked, I guess. I didn't see the comma there after sunny day. Alright, cool. Well, despite the insidious poison and all the other horrible things they have done to us, we managed to survive that quite easily, I must admit. Now it is time for me to chisel through the wall of doom. One final time. Okay, nothing. What is that? It's a structural weakness? Can I dig it? No? Well, I don't know what's so special about that, but okay. This door seems to have been sealed off, but do you think you can open it? Oh god, there is a giant yeti behemoth. Pretty sure I don't win that fight, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, maybe we do win that fight. Oh my gosh. We did it! We just defeated a behemoth yeti. Yeti muscle tissue behemoth. Muscle tissue extracted from a powerful yeti. Somewhere, somebody, or something is bound to be interested. Yeah! Alright folks, we just crushed the giant yeti of doom. Operations performed. With information provided by Sunny Day, we were able to secure an Allied Kingdom supply ship during the brief window in which it was unguarded, with no personal casualties. Okay. We technically broke our agreement. Taragos, or Taragos, or something along those lines, has been adequately disciplined. But because the ship was carrying more useful materials than expected, we were able to take a hefty supply of troll-sized, or close enough to it, arms and armor alongside lumber, furniture, and smaller starlight equipment, or stralite equipment, which can be easily melted down and repurposed into something very useful, before delivering the promised amount of cargo to a vapor trail. Combined with the payment received from Sunny Day, we made a significant profit and reinforced our relationship with Vapor Trail. Our relationship with Sunny Day is of no consequence. Repeat business was unlikely. The last cargo ship I had sent home, the one with countless small crates and the order to confiscate them all and hold them, hold on to them for further instruction, contains one crate full of you know what, received as payment for a product received via Iron Thorn Smugglers. This crate is labeled 47C. Dispose of the others as they are extremely thoroughly trapped. Okay, the exchange with Sherry Toll was mercifully uneventful, and the goods provided appear to be functional. With all due respect, boss, if this doesn't get me a promotion, what will? Our contacts with the black market of Magiol and our establishment of a safe trading hub for their activity has continued to be immensely profitable, in addition to providing us an exploitable means of getting objects to or of our choosing into Magiol. Vapor Trail has been an eager participant and we've made a killing off selling Atmos Absinthe to the Allied Kingdom's smugglers as well as selling Elvala wine and brandy to them. I'll be sending a ship full of our profits, useful metals, alchemical ingredients, salves, or slaves, oh sorry, slaves, not salves, slaves back home on a bi-monthly basis, search the crew to make sure they haven't been lining their pockets, and keel haul any you catch. Crew disobedient, uh, disobedience and morale continues to be something of a problem despite regular floggings, but we're still retaining enough of them, getting enough use out of them. That said, feel free to keep sending sentenced criminals our way. They're surprisingly productive as long as we give them enough booze and cheer blossom. Alright. There's nowhere left to exp How do I get out of here? That's probably going to be a problem. Huh. Yeah, that could actually end up being a real problem. I don't have an exit from here.
Hmm. Nope. Nothing seems to really help us here. Well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, this isn't good. Aha! What is that? Ah, that doesn't seem to help us either. My goodness. Is there even a way out of here? Well... Is this a rod of recall? Yeah, I guess that's gonna be our way out. Alright, let's close that up. Anything I need to keep? The ring of growth, I guess. We'll move that to our normal inventory. I'll check our rings against that. The steel armor, I think it's still lame in comparison to what we have. Seven less. Hornet stingers, I mean, I don't think we need these, but again... I kind of want to keep everything that we have just laying around, just in case it's something that we eventually do need. Alright. It's good, we should be back on the top side of life, and I believe we have a level up to do as well. So, let us do that. We will do strength, we will do constitution, and we will do cunning this time around. And we have one in one. Overheat saws. I don't know where that one... Oh, it's over there. Okay. We do damage to adjacent foes. Now, what is this? Overcharge saws. You temporarily overcharge the saw motors, increasing the effective talent of all saw talents by 26% for three turns. That sounds like a pretty good skill to have. I don't, I don't hate that. What is this? Hold the ground. Eh. Eh. I guess we can go further with smithing. Do I really want to? What was this? Oh yeah, this is going to give me that critical strike thing and other stuff. Armor piercing. Yeah! Well, I don't know where I should be heading now, but we'll continue to move along, I guess. We're going to try to avoid getting caught by anybody. What level is that? 15? We're 18 at this point. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that we wouldn't die a horrible death. Yeah, we're not going to go up to that at all. Another group of nasty people coming to try to murder me. What do we have over here? Level 13. What's down here? Level 30. Definitely don't want to do that one. Level 15. Level 30. Can we go past this? Uh, minimum level 1. We've already dealt with that. I suppose we go back to town. Let's go see if there's anything going on in the town. It's been a while since we've been here. Maybe we can go talk to the Minotaur here. Before you stands an impressive undead Minotaur, I would like to talk to you. Not now. Okay, what about you? You don't want to talk? Inspect the creature? What are you? Oh, it's an orc gunslinger just chilling there. He's like, what's up? I like Yes, that's that. I mean, there's nothing really going on over here. There's a few shops still available. Let's go check out our ring. That was one of the things I wanted to see. Alright. What do we have here? We have a ring that gives us plus three constitution and plus six physical save. And then we have a ring with plus eight accuracy and plus four dexterity. Because it's 4 strength, 4 will, resistance to nature, you get 8% damage to nature and physical damage, 8 physical, yeah, this is definitely better than this. There it is, and it has an active as well? Nope. But it does give me some life regeneration, cool. Definitely good. Definitely something I want. Alright, and what is this? Create Tinker. Oh, we can actually create stuff. Armor reinforcement, what does that do? Want more defense? Wear more armor! As far as lumps of steel. 
and it will increase our armor by two and armor hardness by 20%. We have spike attachments, we have focus lens, we have all these crazy things here. What is a saw shell? A special shot that slices and dices, not really my thing. A steam saw. We need smithing level 2 and mechanical level 1. Dismantle any one-handed sword, axe, mace, add some amazing steam power to it and make a powerful steam saw. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, well, all that being said, let's leave this place and see where we're going to actually go, and then we'll break out the episode. Uh, I kind of want to go there, but at the same time, I feel like it's probably not the best place. And I don't know how well we stack up against those uh, wyverns. We could try again. But I'm worried we'll just die. Yeah, well, let's, let's give it another shot. We have a few minutes before we have to break out the episode. So let's see if I can't do that. Alright, we're going to try this. This could be very bad for us. Alright, we know they're already here. How bad did that hurt us? It looks like pretty badly. But not necessarily the end of the universe bad. Oh, he seems to be upset that we have kind of owned him a little. Oh yeah, we defeated him. Oh, I totally didn't think that would work. Gotta say, I'm pretty stoked about it. Alright, let's rest. Whoo, that was scary. We'll continue on slowly-ish. Oh my god, there are so many of these things. Okay, it looks like we're just gonna keep murdering them as they come. Oh, is that another one of those? Oh, it is. Alright. What we're gonna do is this again. And we're gonna murder a vast majority of those guys. Holy crap. Ah! <sighs> Okay, we're still alive. Make sure that's actually triggered. Man. There are just way too many of these things to deal with. Ooh, what is that? Just a shiny thing that's not really that impressive. I'm a little bit scared. Is that another one of those super... Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going to retreat a little bit here. We're going to rest. And then what we're going to do is cancel that. We're going to sit here for a little bit. We're going to hope that we build up our steam again. Then we're going to wait again until they come to us. Do a little bit of murder. Gonna back up around the corner again. Put the shield on. And... Kill you off. Big damage and get you murdered. Like a boss. Sweet. Alright guys, I know. I'm, I'm very slow. I'm very, very, very terrified about all of this, but you'll just have to bear with me as we go through. Oh my god. What is that? Oh 
Really? You're just gonna cheese your way through? Alright, we're gonna hopefully avoid a little bit of conflict here. Alright, so we survived that. There are some more guys coming. At least one more guy. I'm gonna wait it out. And once we kill off one or two more of these guys. There we go. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, still not ready to rest just yet. There we go. All right, folks, I think this is the perfect place to break off the episode. In the next episode, we'll finish clearing out this wonderful, fun stuff. Hopefully, we'll gain another level or two. We're really, really, really close to gaining the next level already. And once we do that, we, I'm hoping to gain two more levels, and then maybe we'll be able to go to these level 15 places and not have to worry quite so much. I'm hoping to find some gear upgrades. I don't know if I've surpassed some stuff or I just overlooked some things because it looks like the stuff I have is better. Reading the stats and knowing the metagame is still not something I'm really good at, but I'm hoping, like, as I continue with the run this good, for me, again, for me, this good that I'll actually learn quite a bit and then maybe it'll make all subsequent runs or future runs better. Alright folks, if you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it as I said, and I will catch you guys next time with more Tome, the Embers of Rage expansion. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.